Hello darlings, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. Now for the video. Happy birthday girl, um, Denise from Nails by Denise, it's her birthday. Um, I don't really know her very well, she's pretty new to the group, um, but everybody deserves a, a nice set of nails and a happy birthday. Um, I had mine and it was wonderful, so of course, you know, I want to do a little for sis. Um, her favorite colors are blue and nudes. She likes unicorns and rainbows. Um, so that's what I went with. This is her IG page. She does have a YouTube, but there aren't any videos uploaded yet. I know she's getting ready to do that soon. So, you know, if you could check her out, follow, subscribe, that would be wonderful. Also, there are a bunch of giveaways going on in the Glitter Girls collab. So that video is dropping today as well. So please go over there if you want to know more about giveaway info. Now let's get on with these nails. Okay, for this set, I am using um, this Elite 99 4909. It's that nice turquoise summery macaron color. Um, and I'm using the Gel NY number 136, or sorry, 106 Wedding Satin Day. I'm using my Gershon base and top coat. I am taking, there's two layers of polish on each nail, um, you know, full, fully cured in the lamp, 60 seconds in between each. Now I am taking the base coat of Gershon and I am applying it to the nail. Um, it's going to be just a regular even amount to maybe a little bit extra, but it's, that's not necessary. Now this glitter mix, it's a blizzard, is from Tammy, from Tammy's Manny's. Now it is a very beautiful glitter. She sent it to me in my Christmas card. Um, and there are like snowmen and um, snowflakes and all kinds of little cute stuff in there. I really just wanted to use the actual glitter mix itself without the bigger embellishments although they're not really giant that she got she's got she made a beautiful set of glitters she really really did all of them are gorgeous um but i didn't want it to go with the winter theme i wanted to go more with the blue theme because it is for a birthday so i left out the snowflakes and all that stuff and just went straight for the other glitter but it is gorgeous at first i was going to apply a top coat but it just looked so good the way that it was that I left it, you know, sugared like that. Um, but I love it. I think ugh, lost for words, you know, never thought that would happen, right? <laughs> but it's gorgeous. So gorgeous. For the nude nail, I decided to go with decals. Um, I have a cute unicorn, a rainbow, and a star. Um, I am taking off the clear layer off the front, soaking the water decal in the water for 30 to 45 seconds or so. Um, I do put some water on the nail itself. It's not top coated. Um, and I put the decal on. When I do that, it makes it easy to move the decal around in case it gets bunched up or you need to snip it because it's too big and it doesn't fit the nail right, you know, or whatever. Am I out of frame again? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. My last few videos, I, I'm i frustrated with myself. <laughs> um, I did the same thing with the other two decals. I let them sit in there for 30 to 45 seconds, and I just slide them right off the cardboard and put them right on the nail. Um, and with these, they filled up the nail completely. They were, It worked out really well. Um, sometimes I find that I take too many decals or not enough decals and there's empty space that I don't like or whatever. But now I'm just trying to straighten them out and get them flat. And for the last nail, I am going to do a unicorn horn. Now I haven't done one of these in a while, but I am taking the hard gel instead of a base coat or top coat. And um, it is a transparent pink, but since it's going over a color and it's that color doesn't really show that much anyway, unless you're like 
building a nail like on a form because even in a pop it it ends up looking you know you don't get that bright pink like it shows in the pot anyways so I'm taking a like regular liner brush and I twirl the hard gel around it and when I get it up and the whole um bristle is um coated then I take it and I slowly drag it across the nail diagonally and depending on the size and the shape of the nail depends on how many ridges that I put. And um, I noticed that some people do it with um, top coat and um, or I've not, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it with poly gel. I mean, it can be done, um, but this has worked the best for me. Um, so what you missed, of course, is putting on the hollow, which I can't believe I didn't push the button. Um, so to put the hollow on, what I did after was put a top coat on there, put it for 10 seconds into the light, and then applied the hollow. Now I'm applying another top coat of the Gershon top coat, but I'm using a separate brush so that any leftover particles will not ruin my top coat bottle. And this is it. Um, happy birthday, girl. I hope you like them. Um, I do have a discount code for the gel NY. It's BRC Nails 10, all capitals. Please use that. Save some coin. That would be wonderful. Um, and I hope you like these, hun. Please check out the other people that have done videos or pictures. Um, it will be listed down below in the description box. Um, thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again.